Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Hello, Edition. And welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Sorry about last week, I was supposed to stream last week, but uh, that didn't actually work properly. Uh, I wasn't feeling that great last week. So, what happened there? Alright. Something happened. Ah, I see what happened. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Everyone's having a fantastic night, morning, evening, wherever we're all on the world, and we're gonna continue where I left off in the game. With, uh, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to update that shit. God damn it. I'm gonna update my Twitch thing real quick. <laughs> I'm silly. I fucked up. I forgot to switch it. I thought I did, though. What happened there? Excuse me, guys. Uh, re real quick there. Oh, wait, not the wrong spot. My goodness, there we go. Okay. Cool. There we go. Let's carry on. Whoa. Chill. Chill, Shepard. Chill. <laughs> what the hell was I doing? I think I was gonna go see the council. Yes. Oh, so much stuff. Alright, I... Uh, there's so many things I need to do. Let's do those <laughs> first. Zoltan is at the Elcor Embassy. Find him, show him the evidence. Wait, I also had to go in there for. Uh... Oh no, wait. Okay, I, I can remember now. I had to go see somebody at C Sect for one mission. The Elcor from the Elcor Embassy, and a few others. Let's go. Let's go to the Embassy. Yeah. Nix, you wanna say hello? Come on. Come on. Hi, bud. Come on. Hi. Hi, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you big goof. Hi. Say your hellos. <laughs> he, he always chills with me while I'm streaming. Just laying on the floor uh, down there. <laughs> but yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, that way. This way. I forgot Shepard could run now. This is great. You, sir! Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you, sir. I know who revealed your secret. It was a tour Chill, named Nix. Septimus. Chill. Chill. Go boy. I know this Septimus, oh boy. and he could not learn my secret. Hi, Frumpkin. The only this is the other one that visits my streams. Hi, bud. <laughs> what are you doing? Consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. Hi. This is difficult to fathom. If the Would Torian like could outside? learn this on his own, unfortunately, I had to put my window in. <laughs> put secret. your butt down, sir. Put your butt down. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful sir. man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. Sir. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Hi, Nix. You're so focused on the cat there. 
And I got the cat that's pissed that I put my window fan back in. Because <laughs> it's, it's getting a, a, a wee bit warm. Again. Please, human. If you and this makes my room nice and cold. I, must go now. I do mean cold. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was uh, an honest mistake. Cat. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. If I would like slick Thankful. my hair back, would I look like Shepard? That, that was a great haircut? thing you did, Commander. A little bit. Approving. Can't really tell with this camera though. <laughs> you see, then not all humans are as you say. Can't really tell. I'm sure your friends. <laughs> Nick, slide down. Lie down, boy. Slide down. There you go, good boy. Listen to my bolus <laughs> It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Thank you. Callan. Alright. Okay, so got I keep I played I'm playing too many different games, guys. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm in anymore. Uh Signal seems to be coming from the ward, okay. I gotta speak to Shire again. Not a big deal. Open the door. Thank you very much. Mercy buckets. Mercy buckets. Welcome Should probably move this way. A little bit closer. <laughs> with how I talk. Alright, um. <sighs> of course. Even though I have this pop filter that is a fuzzy one for the wind, which is very useful for my fan that's like literally right down there. Uh, not so great with other hair. I'm going the wrong way. Because I just saw a piece of either Frumpkin hair or Nick's hair. But, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, so far, this game, fucking gorge. Gorgeous. Oh, the water is so pretty. The trees don't overly look flat. They actually look like leaves. <laughs> All right. Seems like all the best round. Do, 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 do. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What did you mean about to the secret doors were closed? I okay, I know that voice. That and it's... I think I said that last time, too, that I recognized that voice. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking I know Benezia is fucking Even Demona the from Gargoyles, which is great. His campaign against me. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not Damn. expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. Oh, thank you. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your You're skin, gonna hear very loud bottle clocks. The scales on any Turian. With the rest, <laughs> a wall between which I do need to bring it to a ball rub at some point. But it protects you, makes you strong. That strength mm. is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. There we go. Very astute. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. It just reminds me I need to Here, Commander, trim my hair again. In light of your efforts with the <laughs> hasn't even been that long. I would like you to have this small. My trick. hair just grows. What is it? A small mystery. Oh yeah. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass the it on. The fuck you give me? And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words. Did you just give me Medichal? <laughs> they will give you strength. <laughs> Did you really just give me Medichal? 
Or did you give me a thing that gives me more medigel? I'm very confused. Oh, you give me combat sensor. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Right. I use pistols and sniper rifles. And I am definitely keeping the Reaper because it has more heat to com capacity versus the hammer. Because thick that noise. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This is Physic 1, which is to bypass shields. Alright. I'll put the combat sensor 2 on there. That sounds sounds good. <laughs> Alright. Next one. Next mission. Uh, signal tracking uh, the ward access corridor. Okay. Hmm. That's in a different system. I need to go to C-Sec no matter what. I gotta go to the upper ward. I will see him again. I'm missing one! Fuck. Well... Hmm. Okay. Let's see the journalist, and then we'll go to C-Sect. This journalist is just a drop-off. And go from there. Uh, was there actually a... Oh, fuck. Ward. Uh, med clinic. Hey, the boy. <laughs> hey, the boy. Huh? <laughs> hi, boy. <laughs> Go face. Hi. Hi, boy. All right. You, you, you be chill. <laughs> I swear to God, Nix is probably the chillest border collie you will ever see. Cause you'll just, you know, chill in my bed and be like, "All right, I'm gonna." I'm gonna chill here with you while you play your games. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I might need to turn I off my sure fan. I was sure he was a, a big player cool. in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? Yeah. This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Oh, and Good I am commander. playing Paragon. Trouble. Primarily. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before mm. you talk to anyone else? That would be worth uh. quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Yeah. Probably gonna shut my fan off. It is. I'm actually really cold. <laughs> it's getting chilly on the arms. I probably could have worn a t-shirt and I would have been fine. Alright, so that's her mission. Uh, Alright, alright. Uh, single tracking. Ward access corridor. This? No, I don't think so. Maybe? Ward access corridor. Uh, I have no idea. <sighs> Fuck it, C-Sec for now. If I remember the location correctly. I am incorrect. I am really incorrect. I also don't know where the last 
flipping uh, keeper is, which is annoying. Okay, you are one. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Oh, I'm afraid so, there, lad. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolene. Dumbass. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? Yeah. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so <laughs> I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. It's okay. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. <laughs> well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get mm. that data analyzed. Please do. Um Detective Chelling, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Sorry? <laughs> I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chelling. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close Is eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you Honestly? really need to risk her life to get the information like, come on, you bud. want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? All right, what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. All right. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Oh, I did have squad shit. Oh! Why, hello there. Give me more charm, please. <laughs> uh... Yeah. All right. That's good. Oh yeah. I should probably do the rest too. <laughs> All right. And one Interrogant agent. Oh, I could put more Interrogant agent. What is this? Actually, with all weapons, increased damage with assault and a sniper rifle. Okay. On the tally, I need her with her shotgun. Give me shotgun. Shield boost. Okay, and then I'll put one in quarry mechanic and decryption. Mm. Let's slip this way. Did I get this one? Probably, yes. Of course I did. Anything in here? Probably. Not. Probably don't. Uh, okay. Try one thing. That last keeper is gonna be a pain to find. Because I honestly do not remember which ones I got. Music. Why'd you stop? <laughs> I got that one. Hello, Commander. What do you have? Oh, I think shit. I'll be going. Actually, sure I should Commander. probably check to Hello, see if Commander. I got all the licenses too. Show me what you got. Excellent. I yeah. hope you find them. Did I get your license already? Yes, I uh, did. I uh, did, diddly did. Cool. 
So that's one thing you want to get before you leave the station. At any point in time, this is Stalking Bay. This is Presidium. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel <laughs> and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Okay. Let's go that way. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Executor Palin. There is no keeper. <laughs> Garrus, why why'd you stay there, bud? Uh, Polari sits. I think I got this one. Yep. I'm gonna be very annoyed. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very Park busy. Man, bye. Uh, da, 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 da. In here? They get this one? Probably. Yep. Okay. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay, let's see if I got... Actually, I wonder if... Says I have it. Uh, ships and vehicles. This? Nope. 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 Um. Can't tell which ones I have or not. That's annoying. Right. Whatever. Allow me to be your guide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do I have the Hanar's license to buy stuff from my ship? Because that makes it a lot less trips for me to the Citadel. Got that one. Where is he? Over there. Emporium Shakiba. Bye. Commander. I'm just gonna show skip. me your items. <laughs> Standard. Do I have your thing? Yes, I do. Cool. Good. I've been good last game. And I did indeed get all, if not most, of the licenses that I can get right off the hop. Alright. Uh, the fuck is it? Barlavan. Uh, right. I think the access to the ward is that way, so I can just see if I can find uh, whoever the hell I'm looking for. Let all races herald the glory of the I'm pretty sure I got you already. I'm pretty sure I got this one. Oh, I don't. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be Did your I... guide. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. I guess right. Mostly for show, not much fun. Damn. Alright. Yeah, I did get him. Don't know why he's saying examine, but alright. 
Ah, uh, Citadel Tower. I don't need to go to Citadel Tower right away. That's where I need to go to advance. Well, it's not right now. Okay, this is... Direction to the wards. The thing... One of the mission is the hallway to the wards. Yes. Yes. Signals needs to be coming from the ward access corridor, so it should be here. Somewhere. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. <laughs> the Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Okay, so. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? Ha. It's good. Busy though. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Put the gun away, Shepard. Jesus Christ. Um. <sighs> okay. Relay through a terminal in the financial district in the Presidium. I'll go there after. Let me do the thing in the ward first. Which is the, uh... You? Did I get you? Oh, I did. Oh. Saiyan. Mm, to the board. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Mm. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Thanks. <laughs> what is this? Maybe? Maybe. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. That was there. <laughs> that gives me the Cora's den. I need to go this way. I'll not go this way. Maybe. Yes, because I need to go down or over here. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Oh, it's down from here. I'm okay. I got her. I got her. Ah, oh, fuck. I got you already. <laughs> Best place on this ward to buy it. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. I already have you, don't I? Uh. Menagerel's too expensive. Schnitz. Alright. Down below I go. What the fuck? Ah, there it is. Krogan. Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Shit. army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. <sighs> Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with me? Uh... Okay. Hello there. Welcome ah. to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. <laughs> Shut them down. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Let's try again. 
Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous need shop. Place. You want many good? Let me see what you have. Oh, you Standard. would pleased, I think. Very good thing. Oh, I guess not. I already got it. Heh. <laughs> Alright. I gotta stop. I keep clicking the wrong buttons. My goodness. Uh, journal. Turn with the shipment to Chalak. Signal and Presidium. Different system. Don't care about Comrade. I'm missing one scanner. Okay. Uh, fuck it. Uh, the ward. The ward. And c -sect. Bring me to c -sect. Please and um, thank you. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This way. Commander, I hear you have something for Force. me. Force. Here's your shipment, Chalik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. And you've earned some payment for your Thank work. you. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Please do. Now, I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Paragon plus eight. Woot. Alright, uh, Presidium. Ah, oh, shit, I better check. I think it was the financial district. Yes, 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 yes. Why didn't I? Give me that thing. <laughs> Give me that thing. Um, yes, financial district of the Presidium. Ooh, armor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Armor piercing rounds. Didn't I have like a version of those? I have one. Give me two. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Okay, I guess it's straight ahead. Or you know, Barla Vaughn. <laughs> Hi, Barla. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. I should go. Goodbye, uh. Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the pursuit. Okay, they're not far. What? Why? You don't have a gun. <laughs> you don't have a gun in him. What are you doing, Shepard? <laughs> Aha! This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection: one hundred percent. Initiating self-destruct uh -oh. protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Are you a sentient? You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that, when activated properly, 
Approximate a self-destruct mechanism. That doesn't make any sense. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. We don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I, I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Okay. Reason? What is the purpose of your self destruct Reason? device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. Okay. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Reason for the theft. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. What? I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Mm -hmm. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Okay, you don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this piece? How can you say I that? I am not this? naive, human. I wished to escape. You're bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. Mm -hmm. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Enough talk. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. <laughs> you may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. Wait for it. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Uh-huh. Oh. What am I doing? What is <laughs> happening? What is the mine? I get them now! Okay. Not that one. Okay. Triangle. Triangle, square. Okay. Triangle, square, triangle. X. Shit. Got him! <laughs> Bish! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> And I leveled up. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two, three. All right. I do. Uh, there we go. First aid. Cool. Alright. And a wee, a go. Uh. Okay, that's it. Uh, I can now go towards the citadel. Because, uh. Except for the one that I can't, for the life of me, locate. The stupid keeper. Where am I going? I, uh. I can leave. Okay. There we go. I was like, why does the running animation look like I have a assault rifle or something in my hand? Presidium Citadel Tower. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay.
You have arrived at the Sentinel Tower. Alright, um... Up I go. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Hello, Goliath. <laughs> Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his Good. crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve Between as guides Between 700 and 1,000 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's this memory. could be 600. Never know. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth revered them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Who is to say? Vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Please. This is Please. <laughs> you proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. 50, In a vision! Ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. No. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. So you'll do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. Oh. The only time I like Udina is when he actually stands up. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Ta ta! <laughs> oh, thank God. Commander Shepard, Thank you. Step forward. I am now the first human specter. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Woo! Spectres are not trained, <laughs> but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. 
We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Cool. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Pretty good. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Okay. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Spectre inductee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank yeah, you. I don't blame him. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spec the bonus, spec the training talent unlocked. Uh, elite agent of the council, the specters have access to special training unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy. Increase health, accuracy, and effectiveness in all combat powers. Grant unity ability. Oh, I forgot about this. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting this right off the hop. And, uh, I'll pick my charm. Sect requisition. Add the wood. Mm -hmm. way down. For the requisition. Requisition officer. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. What? System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry. No Commander. problem. Just show me what you got. Plane. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Plain. Why? Enjoy. Oh. Oh. Why you so much? <laughs> Fuck. Do I already? Yes, I do. That's good. That just means eventually I will... Uh, I'll get it eventually. <gasps> oh, <laughs> why are you so expensive? Oh my god. Six. Six numbers. I'm at four. Motherfucker. <laughs> first things first, I would need that sniper rifle and the pistol. Just hands down, because the only two weapons I'll need. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Of course, the most expensive weapon on that list is the stupid freaking sniper. Schnitt. Uh Okay. Whoop. Wrong button. Okay, speak to the ambassador. Ambassador will provide you with ship and crew. Meet him in the Alliance docking bay. Okay. I think I'm here. Except for the scanning of the keepers, because it's good fucking luck. Alright. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Hmm. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. <laughs> Wow. Good job, bud. There he is. Motherfucker, come here. <laughs> I've been looking for you.
That was loud. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What? Mm-hmm. Oh. My ears. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I've got big news for Ooh. you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours okay. now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well. I will. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Anywhere on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. <clears throat> Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Hmm. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that hmm. recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheus. Yes. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Yes, yes we sir. We <laughs> have reports she was exploring an archaeological First I'm getting. on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau I'll Cluster. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. I'm getting my girl, boys. Your actions still reflect on humanity <laughs> as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning oh, it up. Oh, he's so cute. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Mm-hmm. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Uh-huh. Bye, dude. Yes, Commander? Are you all right? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Mm. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago mm. now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me, and evaluate my performance. Just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure- What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. Hmm. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Hmm. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of Something bloodshed. happened. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Because it's fucking Saren. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery. Of course. Power. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds Ooh. poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Wow. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me How? joining the Spectre. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. What? He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things mm. to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. 
Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their huh. best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. All right. I should Let's go. go. I'll be here if you need anything. Mm-hmm. Let me in, boys and girls. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Mm -hmm. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. <laughs> Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Whoop. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's I'll the be time. honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't gonna be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Well, I'm down. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty. I'm gonna check on the people that came. <laughs> Including equipment, because I need to sell whatever the hell I have. Mm -hmm. Gaiden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. Okay. We'll have time for personal debriefs. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? I'll probably wait until after I get Lear, I guess. What? 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 Okay. Alright. <laughs> this is such a big, empty fucking room. <laughs> Oh my god, and this is the captain's quarters. It's just empty. Alright. Cool beans there, bud. Oh, how, how pissed is Presley? Give me a second, guys. Hey, bud. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <sighs> Liara's a dig site at the Artemis Tau. Now I'm gonna have to figure out which freaking system she's in, though. Which is a pain in the butt. 
big pee in the butt. Oh god, it's camera. <laughs> Athens? Goddess of, uh, based on Athena, goddess of wisdom, S Salamis, uh, Pharos? Observer. Oh, Turian insignia recovered. Scan the planet Pharos, reveal the abandoned base. Okay. That's a thing. You're gonna make me scan everything, aren't you? Hmm. Nausicaa. That's a Ghibli movie. <laughs> Seriously? Gas deposit. Alright. Proteus. Oh, excision. Mm -hmm. Guess not. Macedon. Probably Cosmos. Might as well check all the systems. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> check everything in the Artemis Tower. Let's go. Honestly, I'm gonna have to get used to it because um, I think that's where I actually need to go. Sharila has a very dense atmosphere. Combo system. I'm gonna check the other place first. Just in case. Hmm. Let me check writing. Probably in the Macedon cluster. Christos. Are many? Nope. Theorem. Well, that might be where I need to go. I'll check after. I don't know where I need to go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to recheck the parameters for the Artemis Tau. Taya. Alt Taya. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Mm -hmm. Alright, on that one. For sure. Automated distress beacon? Yeah, probably. Let's go on that one. Idolus. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, my tech combat. I need some bionic. Caden. That's a good balance. Mm -hmm. 
middle of exploration. Okay. I don't think this is correct, but alright. But what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> for some reason, I thought he was like randomly cross eyed, like I going that way and that way for a second. I was like, what the hell has happened? Um. Okay. Um, right, I should probably check the map. What the fuck? Alright, this is the Mako. There is a distress signal there, anomaly there, and debris here. Cool. Let's go to the debris and then just do counterclockwise. Oh my god. Well, I can see the Mako feels heavy which is nice it don't feel like it's gonna go all over the place and considering i had not played this game in a while like the old version i'm kind of happy <laughs> for that i can still do the funky things with the boosters which is a-okay with me Face it. Okay. Okay. All right. Nope. Not there. Mineral survey. Oh, there's turbos! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's great, I love this. My electric skills to a fuck off. What? Alright. Fine. Map. Let's go up here. Three, two, one. Hello there. A mummif- what? A mummified Solarian. ID tag recovered. Found Captain Mylon's identification tag. How it was ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Alright. Who it actually gives me money, so... Yeah, I'll go on random planets. Let's go. My brain's like, don't use structures, don't use structures, I'm just gonna go back to the beginning. Uh... Oh, 
Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> oh god. I just like slingshot myself forward. God damn. <laughs> oh my god hi bud thank you <laughs> thank you nix oh thank you bud oh no i have to do this all over again don't i shit oh, i might as well go to the thresher mall first then i'll avoid that since i can't get it right away oh boys <laughs> oh wait i can actually up this then so i might be able to Still, it'll be completely fucking pointless if I uh, don't do anything else. So let's uh, let's try this again. Uh... Cool. Uh... I remember I used to have a trick when he came to the Thresher Mall, because I did it a long time ago. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, I I could probably use the boosters to evade. Okay, whoop. Anytime it spits its acid at me. Alright, I'm gonna save. Yeah, this works better. Oh, dodging me! Jesus Christ! Prayers be done. Shit. <laughs> Don't 
Thresher mob. Fuck you, Westy. right on my arse. It's right on my arse. I'm gonna do a few boosts there. Holy schnitz. T'es pas cool Jusqu'à t'y là. Die, you cunt! Oh my god. Did it die? Is it dead? Is it dead, dead? I get done. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distressed people. Uh huh. <sighs> These are Admiral Kahoku's men. We need to tell them what happened here. Yep. Hey, boys. Can we shut this bitch down? Uh. Nope, okay. Mini heart attack, their tabernacle. Holy hell in a handbasket though, holy Jesus. Ugh. Thank God I remember that shirt. Oh 
how many more Omni Gel. Uh, where's the... I'm happy that it's heavy because maneuvering the Mako was always a pain in the butt. And I remember the first time doing that Thresher Maw battle when I was uh, first playing this. And the whole boys. <laughs> Just a big old whole boys. <laughs> Goodness, all right. Guess that'll be another time entirely. Jesus Christ. I got one thing before I try and find uh, Liara. to the Normandy. Now, I think her th dig site was in the Macedonia. Was in the Macedonia. In Macedonia. Alright, so... That's Athens. There's Macedon. I kind of remember what it looks like. So, uh, Sharjila? That looks right. This looks right. We shall see. Um, okay, I want her, not Rex. And looks at least he has biotics. Do I want tech? Yes. I accept my squad. This don't feel right. This don't feel right. <laughs> Alright, this is another planet that I fucked up. It's in Krosnos, I guess. My mistake. <laughs> Alright, let's explore the planet a little, I guess. Well, at least I'm getting money this way, which is honestly what I really need is lots and lots of fucking credits. I uh, love the Mako, fucking 90 degree angle, let's go. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna explore the planets after I get my electronics high enough. Cause fuck you. <laughs> you 
we're gonna keep doing that shit. It's finally our <laughs> Uh, Krosos, Krosos, Krosos. Hmm. Ah, Therum, yes, 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 because of the refinery. That I recognize that. I recognize the refineries. Alright, or not Rex, you're coming with me and uh Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Until I get Liara. So far, this is looking really good. Like, the lava looks great. Honestly. Excuse? Why the red blips on my mini map? Explain, game. Explain. Would you like to share with the class? I hear you, motherfucker. <laughs> Yes, and that one. All right, cool. Kind of forgot a concussion this game, just a little. Something there. Perfect. Cool. Um, <laughs> Heavy armor. I think I only get up to medium though. Heavy armor would only be if I was a 
soldier class. There is another geth on that side. At the very least I sound on the blip, but I could be fucking wrong. Oh! There's an upgrade kit though. Cool, thank you. This place. Check this place and see uh, a bit thick. Ma'am. <laughs> Nothing. with me here. That was easy. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Take all. Thank you. Oh, thank God. There's auto save in the in the game now. Thank Jesus Lord, because my goodness, that was one thing that sucked about the first game is there was no auto save, so you had to manually save every single time. If you did not, you were. But so if I check the load, yes, there's an auto save. Hallelujah and fucking peanut butter, guys. Come on, whoop! You missed. Thank you. Shoot its shields and blow it up with uh, the big guns. Did I get? Yes, I did. Okay. I was like, I think I leveled up. Yeah, so you get medium armor, and that's my limit. I do that. <laughs> okay. Squid. Lift. Stasis. Sentinel. And then I can lift. Uh, up throw. So a barrier. Unlock stasis for him. Advanced barrier. Next thing would be to get his health up. How much experience do I need? Uh, not that far off. I'm level seven. That's not. That's not too bad. Bitch! Fucking coward! Fight me! <laughs> me, and my little makeup. Kaboom!
go. And off I pop. Oh god. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. The fucking tunnels look way better than it did before and a lot brighter too. Which is nice. Where are you, bitch? This before. That works. <laughs> Goodbye, Geth. And there's more head. Okay. Surely, but surely. And boop. Head. Reversed. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. I got them all. I got them all. Perfect. Ooh, boys, all right. Okay, now I gotta get out. Okay. Give me a different gun, thank you. Assault rifle, and you can only take that. So. Let's get my equipment up and going there with some new stuff. Um, no new pistols. Which honestly, I think that's my beginner's pistol. I do believe so. Mark is drunk. Mark is drunk. Alright. Can't do shit. Biotic amp, omni tool, and let's go to Rex with a uh, shotgun and sniper. Sniper uh, assault rifle, sorry. Okay, that's it for that. And let's go to Shepherd. Ooh, Reaper 2, yes, please. A banshee is a junk one. Oh, good. All right. Right over here. Hostile spot. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh.
Rex, switch. On me. Reaper man, Reaper. This is why I pick sniper rifles. I'm very proficient with them. <laughs> uh, let's see. I remember this, and I hate this. With that goddamn passion. I hate this one section with the, the piping and the flint. Actually, I should probably update my equipment and the other's equipment. I think I'm okay. Maybe. Armor piercing rounds against synthetics. Oh, I could put uh, something else. Accuracy more. Um, heat sink. Damage, rate of fire, and heat absorption. Sure, let's put that. Anti-personnel, anti-personnel, anti-personnel. Chemical, hammerhead. Might as well get the hammerhead. Probably. Or shield bypass. Phasic round might be really good. Yeah, let's give it a... Phasic round with Rex. Let's see. This gives more damage, it has only slightly less accuracy, so I'll give him Avenger. Um, with some hammerhead rounds as well. I'll give him phasic rounds for that one and hammerhead rounds for the shotgun with this should probably already overheat. Uh Let's give more stability to that shotgun. 
And let's give that a common sensor, because why the fuck not? And I'll say it one more time. Lend the team. I don't like those. I don't like those. Are giving Kaden a shield, you dickhead. Why can't I shoot? Excuse you, sir. All patched up. What the fuck? Just cause. <laughs> Uh huh. Why did okay? There we go. Why do I remember that being a lot harder? Like, I honestly remember that being a lot harder and I'm pretty- I have this game on normal difficulty, don't I? Is it bad that I have to actually fucking check? Which one is it? Is this- No. Control? No. Gameplay? Probably gameplay. Yeah, it's on normal difficulty, okay. Weird, alright. I didn't think I was doing that good, but okay, then. 
Unity. Uh, bypass objects. Master overload. Increases the radius of sabotage and shiz. more level up and I should be able to get medium armor at least. Um, let's give a Krogan Battlemaster with some carnage. There we go. Let's go. Forward merch. Forward ruin. <laughs> Keep my sniper. Let's fuck it. <laughs> Long way down. Mm hmm. Let's take the elevator. A wee bit warm again there. Put the fan on. <laughs> Gonna be a wee bit of a, uh, a buzzing sound there. Oh, oh. oh. my girl. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. We hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security oh, device. So I cannot done. move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? How'd you get trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! Yep. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. Joy. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There was a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Probably trying to get to you there, girly. Okay. Uh oh. Hi. Bip. Man. 
Yeah, let's check if there's any more. Perimeter secured. Not really. The fuck is oh, it's just floating there. Okay. <laughs> let's check out the site. Any more? Perimeter clear. Okay. Thank you, Caden. Uh, <laughs> weapons locker. Ooh. Ooh, there's some new shotguns that might be good for uh, Rex. Alright, cool. Is there anything behind here? Mm, probably not. Nope. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Kessler. Kessler 3, which is not good. It's actually very piss poor. Versus the Singer 2 is really terrible. Uh, I'll keep the Reaper too. Uh, okay. Kaden. No, nope, that one's just pure junk. <laughs> no good. Well, I shall keep it for probably Liara. Yeah, probably for Liara. Once I get her, because I think she's a pistol only for being a pure biotic. Storm 4 is more terrible than Scimitar 2. Hall oh boys. Alright. Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright. Nope. Nope. Okay, X. Okay, X square. X square, circle, triangle. Oh! Okay. Cool. Trial and error here, guys. And Kaboom. And you're right over there. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Uh, not important. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. Fair. That button should shut down my containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Uh, I believe her. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying yeah. to kill her. Yeah, right. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. <laughs> what the hell was the roommates that? Uh, in the middle of the D&D session. I'm not talking about Ronan. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Uh. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Ooh, we need to get out of here. Joker, 
Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Not much margin for error. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Rex. There's our uh, Krogan pal there that was looking for Liara. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Oh, yeah? This room's coming down, dumbass. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields oh, for boys. us. Oh, boys. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting I'm it. I'm not giving me. her up, you shithead. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Uh huh. Where's that Krogan? <laughs> There's the Krogan. Uh, let's overload his shields. Do not stop. I repeat, do not stop. I went to full seat and came in, Asti. Suck back on Pierre, has the man. Joker, let's go. <laughs> Thank God he's there. Plane? What do you want from me? <laughs> All right. Too close, Commander. Think? Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming Search and rescue. Sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Eh, you saved us. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human yeah, thing. Is. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? Just how old are you exactly? Hundred and something? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. <laughs> Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. You're near me That is why stage. my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. 
With all due respect, Commander, <laughs> I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. Well, it is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. You're not wrong. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously mm. vanish. This cycle began long before that. How do you know this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. Mm -hmm. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out I can out help why. with that. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder That's the fair. Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, mm -hmm. unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. Yeah. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture. So I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Go oh, lie down. I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate, or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt oh, you know. to be examined by a medical professional. Dehydration. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the sure. council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Mm -hmm. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help us, bud. Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Yes. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> Disconnect, no. It was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. 
Remember, we are all counting on you. Hmm. Flipping Turian ambassador every time. Uh, okay, medium armor now. Yay. Do you believe I have some? Yes. 11.88. Guardian 1. See how is everybody? It's usually, it's always best to see everyone after a mission to get their perspective on shit. Start all the way in the bottom, go all the way back to the top. And I also uh, upgrade their stuff. Garrus, Rex, Tali, and Liara. <laughs> Scorpion's better. Okay. Just a shotgun. Perks have already upgraded Garrus. I'll just wait for turning medium armor. Oh. Kaden, the last one is Ashley. Oh, good, she has medium armor too now. Good, 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 good. Cool. Yes, Phoenix is only good for. It's better for biotic protection, that's fine. Probably check Caden's armor now. I think about it. Commander, how are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Their family. Yeah, I right? believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. 
Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy okay. Dr. Tassoni's story. She's gonna say the same thing. she's being straight with Yeah. Her. Too bad those ruins Good got duck. destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of do you have a few minutes to talk? Sure. Uh, I was hoping to get a minute okay. of your time off the of record. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Why? With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. Mm hmm I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust aliens? You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. Pokemon's not really a Council race. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members, so seem, happy she has their backs good character. The wall, um, she has really good character progression by the third game. It's great. Fucking love her in the third game. Such a fucking racist in this one, though. Oh boys. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Sure. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not <clears throat> really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. Mm -hmm. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Okay. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Hm. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Why haven't you served the fleet there, bud? I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. <laughs> so why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? She's space. No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. <laughs> Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh lord. You went to the Makapog boot camp too? Yeah. Jesus Gunny Christ. Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. What a word. Alright. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams, but this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which two. Okay, thanks. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. All right. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Hmm... Garrus. Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at sea. You <laughs> Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're oh my god, the place look amazing in this game now. Buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Why am I gushing over Turian plates? What the fuck's wrong with me? For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing it's my, my raptor work. boy. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. 
Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a ah, depends. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Rex. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Oh, yeah? Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Ah, oh, come on. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was That's unfortunate. Time. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection. Bunch of you guys breed like fucking rabbits. <laughs> children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare oh, he has scales on the, the upper part of his neck. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. But it's not what's killing us. Ah. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. Mm. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Everyone. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? <laughs> when was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Yeah, fucking good luck. <laughs> you ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Alright. So long, Rex. Sure. Uh, Shepard. Uh, I love Rex. And whip, and whip. Tally! Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've Fucking never seen tally. a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. You're into ships? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. Kinda have to. It comes with being a quarian. You have the to learn the fleet is the key to the survival Shoot. of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. 
We make do with cast there's ever been a Korean biotic. We just try to keep them running for as long it's as not we can. Common. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. That's 300 years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Don't have They're a choice. Constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. Mm. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I Ship. should go. See you later. I wanted to the tally. Hey Shepard, you need something? Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything Gives me experience if I do it. So. In some way, contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. Plus, also, uh, there are seventeen million refresher cores for me. <laughs> flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. So much lore in the this game. Jesus Christ. Are strong. Unfortunately. We have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet hmm. as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. Yeah. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. Hmm. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Wow. Pretty good, actually. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on tell us. Tell me. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Hmm. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. Hmm. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. <laughs> but one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Think hive mind like bees. <laughs> So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in a group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. 
Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Why'd they turn? What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? <laughs> As you Flip imagine, shit. <laughs> this caused a near panic among my people. Up next. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. They defend themselves. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, Exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. Hmm. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. Yeah. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? Yeah, not everyone. They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. Your pilgrimage. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. No inbreeding. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Hmm. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Can a captain choose to... Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most... E it's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. I want to talk about something Like else. what? Alright. I should go. See you later. <sighs> Adams. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. She bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart <laughs> as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than Fucking I do. Fucking love Adams. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Uh, I'll do them later. Carry on, I'm focus on the team. Aye, aye. So let's 
Got everyone down here from the team. I'm just gonna go upstairs. Talk to Liara and Caden. Thing? Yes, I do. Aha! I got more weapons. Fuck. Uh, I don't use. Okay. I don't want the hammer. The hammer sucks. <laughs> Finish my meta gel. Let's check on the Yara. Commander, are you coming to check up oh, on me? Oh lord. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Something I've commander. always noticed. If you hadn't shown Her up, right eye always squints a little bit like she has a lazy eye. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard Either that ship. or it's just a weird angle of I've it. I've seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I Don't worry, Liara. Trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. <laughs> At least I hope so. You sound troubled. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something changed. Sorry, culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. <sighs> My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around <laughs> rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's just so fucked now. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. The other parent. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Who was yours? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You don't know who? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Hi, buddy. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Oh, hi, Most Asari Nick. believe it weakens our hi, species. Hi, little pupper. Asari daughters inherit oh, racial traits from the thank father. Thank you for species. saying hello. If both parents are Asari, hi, buddy. then nothing has been gained. Oh. Or such conventional wisdom would hold. Hey, I am what is sometimes hey, called a hmm? pure blood. 
Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my mm. people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too mm. ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. You don't know that. Eh. Maybe you she don't know that. You couldn't. Yeah, you don't know that. Could happen to her. Hey, buddy. Maybe she passed away. <laughs> you might be right. I hope Uncle you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. How do they deal with that? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Got Commander. One last thing to ask her. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Must get lonely. <laughs> Sounds dangerous and lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. <laughs> until the Geth right. followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well. That is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Why is that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Eh. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. Yeah, I doesn't hurt You anymore. were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. I'm fascinating. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. Chill. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Uh, Alright. I got one last person to talk with. And that's just because I fucking love talking with him. Joker! Frickin' Seth Green! Let's go! Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, pretty. Alright, Dark Joker. I, I prefer gold to silver, <coughs> you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh... Hold your boots out of the fire. Sure, want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Uh, status support. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. 
The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Yeah, I just talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told there the we captain. Go. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance Bro. fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned Bro. that. All those commendations in my Chill. file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. They mean to insult you. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bone. How'd you get your nickname? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all not got their plane. asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. All right, see ya. Whoa, 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 I saw that. Come here. I already got it? Th okay. Our cabin. Alright. That's a good spot to end it for tonight. Thank you everyone who has been watching the stream. If you like the video, you can always follow me so you know the next time I pop online. Uh, also, if you wish to see uh, videos I've done in the past, you can always uh, check out my YouTube channel. Link down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, that way you can see the old videos I've done in the past. Also, for anyone who's on YouTube, once I get these videos edited in the future, um, you can always pop on over my Twitch channel so that way you know, uh, you know, you can see them live and unedited. And if you wish to uh, be uh, updated on when the next video pops out, you can always uh, subscribe on the YouTube channel for that. But besides that, thank you everyone who's been watching my stream and my or my video in this case, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Bye.